Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and Tim. Hello. Today, thanks to Penny, we're going to be doing Vermont American Taste Test. So let's get started. What do you want to try first? How about some chocolate? Raspberries and dark chocolate by Lake Champlain. And this one's spicy Aztec. 57% cacao. Yeah, they're both dark chocolate, but what's exciting about this one mm. is it's bold cayenne pumpkin seeds and cinnamon chocolate. Bursting with tart red raspberries. Wow in a little foil wrapper. Look at that. You can see the little raspberry bumps at the back. Oh, you can see them inside there. Oh yes, yum. Give me the little bit. Like that? Half yeah? and half. Okay, let's try this one. Hmm. Oh, it's nice. The raspberries, the pops of raspberry in there, the freeze dried mm. raspberries, really good. Mm. I expect it to be really tart with raspberry flavours, but very subtle in the raspberry side of things. I really like the chocolate in this one. It's got that nice amount of bitterness and also got that nice amount of sweetness. Mm. A nice crisp dark chocolate. It's very nice. And then the raspberries, the freeze dried raspberries in it. And a nice pop, aren't they? Very good. It's the next flavour, which I'm a little bit concerned about. It says it's got cinnamon in it, and I'm never a huge fan of cinnamon. Do you like it in chocolate? I don't think I've ever had it in chocolate. Spicy Aztec. Now that's a very dramatic name. Mm. And I really like the organic looking wrapper on this. Is that the wrong wording to use? No. Is that how people use organic these days? Organic, yes, very organic. Using it for everything. These cows are organic. Yes. <laughs> organic cows. Oops, I'm just going to rip into it. Oi, 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 hello. Right, look at that. The Aztec symbols. Look at the beautiful little company seal on it or whatever you call it. No, it's got a deer on it. Okay. Oh, it's got a pumpkin seed I can see in there. Truly? Oh, wow. Yeah. What if you grow it? <laughs> sure. Half a piece. Half a piece? Oh, oh that's hard. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I really like the pumpkin seeds in it. Oh, yoy. I like the spice in it. The cinnamon builds up on it, doesn't it? It just goes, mm, I like it. I'm not convinced on the cinnamon part of it. I like the chocolate. I like the pumpkin seeds. I like the spice of the cayenne pepper. But then the cinnamon gets you. And the cinnamon... <sighs> oh, it's hot. It, it like really likes that. Yeah, but it's just something you have a little piece of chocolate and you're happy. Are you? <laughs> Not like you sitting down eating a whole block at a time. <laughs> oh no, I'm happy when that happens, trust got me. got a little story inside the wrapper. Oh, I can't read it. Now, I think the pumpkin seeds you don't really get. You do it first because you get that nice little toastedness from I'll, the pumpkin I'll dig seed. Dig a pumpkin seed out and try it. Okay, so it actually has, it's really hard to read because of the colour of the white writing and then the grey writing on the white, but it's got a story about it there. I don't know if the camera will even pick that up. Can you read that? I need the biggest old women's glasses in the world to I read that. I need a drink of water after that. To have some maple syrup. Is that how you drink it? No, that's how Americans and Canadians oh, drink wow. it. How cute is the bottle? I don't want to open it. Okay, we just won't open it. <laughs> is that okay, Penny? It's grade A, amber rich taste. We get maple syrup here and it's really runny. Look oh, at yeah. that, this is just oozing. Oh. Pure maple syrup and it's grade A, so it's made by Cold Hollow Cider Mill and it's an amber rich taste. It looks gorgeous. The bottle looks alone, good. love it. I think I might let you have a little bit. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna do this? Just dab your finger like that. What, like cologne? Yeah. <laughs> really? Is that what you're gonna do? Oh, yeah. Really? How, uh, okay. How much different is the stuff, is it to the stuff we get here? Heaps different. That is so different. Yeah. We are being ripped off. Feel sorry for I the Australians. Ours is, ours is watered down a lot. It's really expensive too. Oh, that is so good. It's not ridiculously sweet like I thought it was going to be. It's got this richness to it and this lovely, beautiful, um, I, I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> it's from Vermont. Waterbury Stowe Road. That's your Waterbury address. Waterbury Centre at Vermont. So if you want to go and visit them and get yourself some proper maple syrup. But look at that bottle guys, look at the detail on that. That is a gorgeous looking bottle and the syrup itself is so good. <laughs> Did you miss the <laughs> so, table? <laughs> so good it'll make you fall off your chair. It's that nice, like compared to what we get here, as Australians you should feel sorry for us because we're being ripped off in the maple syrup department. Maybe we should start a maple syrup tree. Start farm. one. How long is it going to take to grow? They take so many years to grow. you got to bleed the syrup out somehow. Yeah, you got to tap it. 
Okay. You tap it. You get your little instrument. You sneak, and you go, can I have it. some syrup? We are going to savour this and enjoy this on pancakes one day. I think it'd be nice on ice cream and on pancakes. Oh. I think it'd be nice on everything. Mm. Do we go to more maple syrup things since we're on that? Yes. Butternut Mountain Farm, Vermont. And these are maple flavoured drops. These are a product of Canada. So is Vermont in Canada or in America? It's right up here, Vermont. Oh, it's right on the border. Yeah, it's okay. on the border, so hence why the crossover items. You want to hold your hand out? Oh, jeez. Maple leaf. Oh, it's so cute. It's probably no big deal to the people in America, but to us... That's exciting. It's a big deal. So cute. Have a look at it. Why are you whacking my arm? <laughs> smell it before you put it in your mouth. Yeah, I always smell mm. anything before I put it in my mouth though. That's why I'm still alive. There was one time she had an oyster. I don't think she smelled it before she put it in her mouth. <laughs> she would so sell it. It was that one time. Mm. Mm. Do you like that? I do. And it's made from maple syrup. Mm. They're made with pure maple syrup. They're really good. They're sweet and they're so cute. It's a lovely hard candy, lots of flavour. 41.2% maple syrup, glucose and sucrose. And that's it. It's a maple tree, huh? Maple gonna be trees. Maple trees. Um, you got to get over the maple trees. I think we should move on to something savoury. You know what? If I had a maple tree farm, I'd be tapping every one of those little trees. I love maple syrup. Yeah, the proper stuff. Distillers honey mustard pretzels. Oh, got wow. two different flavours today. It has a kick of cayenne pepper in it. This has a kink, a kink. This has a kick of honey mustard. Oh, I can never work those cups. <laughs> I made it a handbag. <laughs> That is Come a real on. skill. There was skill. <laughs> okay, so the little chunks of pretzel. They smell nice. Oh, that smells. That's what they look like in the bag. Lovely. Mm. Mm. The outside is very honeyish. They're more honey-ish than, than mustard-ish, mustard yeah. Mm. Sweeter than what I was expecting, but I really love the crunchy pretzels. They're really nice and light tasting. They're not heavy. Would you say they come with a kick? I'd say they come in a handbag. Because it says pretzels with a kick. No, these ones do. Oh. Those ones do too. The mustard's coming in now. Have you got the mustard now? I do. Yeah. I had a big piece there. Oh, did you? Mm. We can put some maple syrup on it. No, your obsession with maple syrup. Let's try the cayenne pepper ones. Very dark looking. Is that the pepper you reckon? Oh, I smell that. Very herby. Oh, no, it smells very, very chilly-ish. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're bitey. Mmm. <laughs> You'll love those. It's got thyme in it. Mmm. Herby. Yeah, and the spice in these ones, whoo, pretty hot, very lovely and crunchy. Story that comes with over a decade ago, an eighth grader, Alec Distler, started a small business for a school project. He crushed pretzels and coated them in cayenne and rebaked them and sold them at school. Well done, young man. So thank you to Alec. Who would have thought? The little kid started this, a 10 year old. At first I was thinking not enough mustard, but now I'm getting that mustard, like even though I've had the have chili ones. Piece? Yeah. The chili I, one's quite warm. Oh, warm. It's hot, but very nice. Exactly what the description says on the back there. They are crushed up pretzels, been coated and rebaked. I'm going back for another one. <laughs> Dude, that's the thing. That's where they get you when you keep going back for little pieces. Mm. This is another maple syrup thing. And this one is from Butternut Mountain Farm again. And it's actually a maple flavored pop. It's like a lollipop. And so there's a stick in there, which so I don't know. So it's just know. the same as that really. But with a stick shoved up it. Yeah, I know. I'm a little bit concerned about the stick. No, you won't get to it. Just but I have to hold the stick. You open it up, you hold it in the packet. I might try that. You've got to try to open it I first. I can't. <laughs> Shove your finger in the back. Okay, well maybe you should just try yours. Yeah, leave that one sealed. You have a taste and you talk about it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, you gave me the stick. <laughs> I forgot. I thought you were having a space attack. <laughs> Honey. Oh, you won't bite it. It'll be hard toffee. I'm just sucking on oh. it. Does it taste like maple syrup? I'm going to make you guess what it tastes like. So does everybody in the northern part of America just eat maple syrup stuff? What, all the time? Yeah. 
that one's really nice and sweet it's very similar to this one of course but in a bigger form and it's a lot cuter because it's on a well it's not really cute because it's on a stick but if i was another person i would like that it's um you just got to avoid stabbing yourself mm. with it. Very I like sweet. maple syrup. I've discovered that now. The flavor is really good of maple syrup, mm. and it's so different. I'm than looking you. down for it. I'll see. I know, poor Tim. Gave him a hard time for looking down the other day. Because if people want to see your face, Vermont nut free chocolate, dark chocolate, fifty five percent. Supposed to be good for your heart, dark chocolate. Oh, it smells good. Okay, a bit's broken off. I'll show you the rest of it. Ready? Ah, do we have half a piece? Yeah. If you can break it, dark chocolate is hard. No, 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 it can't happen. Oh, okay, it can happen. All right. It's mm. nut free. Creamy dark chocolate, actually. It just says it's nut free so people with allergies can have it. They know for sure it's got no nuts. Oh, okay. But I don't think that's a given. Yeah, but like a lot of the things, when you get chocolate, it says may contain traces of nuts. And I think sometimes if they've been used in the same machinery, then they can't even use it or they have to wash down those things so well or something because people with nut allergies will just go. <coughs> Turn into a squirrel and their cheeks pop <laughs> I don't out. know about that. Kip Mum, very nice chocolate, this. It's very crisp. Thanks, Penny. It breaks apart really easily. It's not nice and dark. I think it's quite creamy on the finish too. I only had a little piece but it was very nice. Vermont nut free chocolate. Into the chocolate stash this will go honey. I have a Tupperware container with what Tim calls my chocolate stash and at night you can just hear the lid coming off. She pillages it. <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy my chocolate and Tim enjoys his dark chocolate so I do. Tim will have a square per like, night. This would last me a week. This will last Tammy a night. It would not last me a night. No it wouldn't actually. Two. An hour. Oh. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you're a chocolate fiend like me. Thank you so much, Penny, for this amazing selection. We really do appreciate it. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank Penny, because without her, this taste test would not be possible. Have a fantastic week, everybody. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to give us the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you haven't, why not? Comment below. And we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.